Hey y'all, Oracle Scarlet Dragon Star here with messages from Spirit doing uh, for the Yule Oracle. And have the Christmas vibe going on. So let's get into it and see what it's saying. We have us facing contemplation. It breathes in the stillness of all that is. Exhaling all that isn't. Coming from the ends of the starts and the highest of the lows. Here I grasp for the answer to answers to unfold. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with the light and the camera. It's always flipping back and forth from dark to light. I don't know what what it's doing. But we have reflection, review, lessons learned. So it's saying we are being guided to reflect on our situation. Are there things that we could have done differently? Is there still time to change your situation for the better? Or salvage anything after the damage? Knowing where you can improve will help you to be better prepared should you find yourself in this situation again. Con contemplate can also be a boost to your self-worth. How did you succeed in this situation? Are there any things you can pat yourself on the back about? Acknowledge your shortcomings by making a plan to do better next time and celebrate your wins because you deserve to. <laughs> So contemplation. Next we have forest. 15. It is without question a place of mystery. Whispers of power you've, for you've forgotten. Let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you, dear child, you are magic. So we have strength, patience, and grounding. So the forest guides us to build a stronger foundation and to remember that success takes time. Be consistent in your efforts, gather your resources, plan and reflect. Your goal is not something that can be achieved overnight, but is on the path to success. The forest card represents long-term planning, but also lasting power and influence. Pulling this card is a positive sign that you will be recognized for your efforts and commitment. Furthermore, continue with what works. There's no need to take risk at this time. Hmm. All right. Next we have poinsettia. I want to say poinsettia. Cast the shadows. Scream silence at them. Dear witch, what lurks inside transforms into the most beautiful of beauty. <clears throat> okay. Beauty in darkness, transformation, and shadow work. Oh. It says, we have pulled poinsettia because our hardships, mistakes, and shortcomings are are your beauty in the darkness you may feel called to hide them for a time where they will slowly morph into something new when they are finally free to come to light you will find your mistakes are stunning representations of your strength and determination to succeed despite your past but these parts of you cannot come light without your help they must be recovered if they are ever to be admired in the light. This process is called shadow work. And when you are brave enough to enter the darkness, you will return wholly transformed. You are being guided to seek out your hidden parts. You may think others will judge you for things you've done. That is a natural feeling to have, but know this. Those parts have made you who you are. They give you character where others are hollow. And they've taught you lessons that have contributed to your growth. There is still so much to learn from these parts. Hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. The poinsettia. I like that card. I like that. 
Next we have the mistletoe, which looks beautiful. And it is kind of bright in here, so I don't know why it wants to show dark on here. Mistletoe 22. What dreams may come from the borrowing of ivy held tight within the womb? A calling in of sorts, a spell from above. Holy holly. So, fertility, protection, spark of ideas. Do you have a seed that is ready to be sown? Pulling this card is a positive sign that you should act upon this new project. Creative endeavors are supported at this time, and you shouldn't be surprised if you find yourself seeing inspiration in unusual places. Perhaps you wonder if your idea is worthy of or if things will work. Do not worry about that now. This is confirmation that you are on the right path. You don't have to do everything at once. Small steps, just like asking a love interest for a kiss under the mistletoe, are enough to get you started. Hmm. All right. Then we have gratitude. All that I am and all that I'll be forever in gratitude, I'll eternally be. Acknowledgement and appreciation. So, it says you can even be grateful for things that haven't happened to you, such as not getting the flu this year. There are so many ways to bring gratitude into your life, and the more you do, the more you will see your manifestations coming to pass. You have pulled gratitude as a reminder to be thankful for your situation, no matter the circumstances. You may not understand why this is happening to you, but trust that it leads you towards a divine purpose. The universe needs to feel appreciation, just like you and me. The more you can be grateful, even when you rather complain, the more the universe will respond in thanks for your acknowledgement. Gratitude may also help you see your situation from a new point of view. Yes, grati having gratitude, being thankful, especially to, you know, source. I mean, in the earth, it's just so much more pow powerful than us and takes care of us. <clears throat> So, I definitely see um, being grateful and giving thanks, you know, for things and for life. Um, having faith, staying, you know, faithful that everything's going to work out all right. Okay, we have the unknown. Think on it and you will stumble, for the heart is a ghost upon the unknown. Let it bleed into the depths, bearing nothing but desire. It says, Potential, Creativity, and Risk. So, Unknown requires us to be willing to take a risk. What you want cannot be achieved from a place of comfort or in doing what you already know. With significant risk comes great rewards, and the unknown says now is the time to take a leap of faith. Do not be afraid to fail. Even failure has values and lessons that will help you grow. Be bold and be willing to go against conformity for the sake of freedom and divine alignment with your soul purpose. Alright, that was the Seasons of the Witch, the Yule Oracle. I hope you guys liked and that you come join me again next time. Bye.